Hello guys. Welcome to the Quantity Surveying Workshop. In the previous video, it was stated that students should be conversant and able to interpret architectural drawings to enable them take off effectively. In this video, we will be giving you a rundown on different parts of a building, their functions and how they are represented on architectural drawings. It is important to note that a building is divided into two parts. 1. Substructural Components this consists of parts from the floor level down to the foundation. In our subsequent video, we will be learning how to take off for substructural works and quantities. 2. Superstructural Components This consists of building components from the floor level up to the roof. A foundation is the lowest part of a building that sustains the load of the building and transmits it evenly to the ground without undue settlements or failure. There are different types of foundations, they include strip foundation, pile foundation, raft foundation, pad foundation. In this video, we will be looking more on the strip foundation. A strip foundation is made up of continuous block work centrally placed on a mass of concrete. The strip foundation can be either wide, deep or step depending on the nature of soil. The wide and deep strip foundation, as seen in the section, is used when the load-bearing capacity of the soil is weak. They help to transmit the load over a large area of soil. However, the step strip foundation is used in undulating terrains, where the site is not level. Walls are vertical elements which encloses space and divides the space within. The walls also serve as a support to the roof. The wall helps to provide security and it can be made of stones, brick, concrete blocks etc. Damp proof course DPC is a barrier through the structure designed to prevent moisture rising by capillary action, such as through a phenomenon known as rising damp. The walls are constructed over the DPC. Windows are parts of the building which helps to aid ventilation. When building the walls, spaces should be left for the attachment of windows. There are different types and sizes of windows. For this video, we will be looking at casement windows and sliding windows. The casement windows are windows that can be open and closed like door shutters, while the sliding windows are open by sliding them horizontally. It is important to be conversant with different types and standard sizes of windows, as well as how they are represented in drawing. The door is a movable barrier that allows entry or exit from an enclosure. Spaces should be left for the attachment of the doors when building the wall. There are different types and sizes of doors. It could be flush, paneled, glazed, etc. It is important to be conversant with different types and standard sizes of doors, as well as how they are represented in drawing. Lindels are horizontal support of timber, stone, concrete, or steel across the top of a door or window. The function of the lindel is to carry the load of the wall above it. Lindels made of concrete should be well reinforced with steel bars or rods. Staircase. These are sequence of steps that connects different floors in the building. Staircases consist of parts such as riser, tread, railings, etc. A roof is the topmost part of a building which protects the users from harsh weather conditions such as rain, sun and snow. Roofs consist of different parts and are of different kinds. They could be hip roof, gable roof, flat roof, lean to roof, etc. It is important to have knowledge of different parts of a roof to enable us take off for the different kinds of roof effectively. The component of roof includes 1. Tie beam 2. Ridge cap 3. Purlins 4. Rafters 5. King post 6. Strut 7. Fascia or barge board 8. Ceiling joist 9. Ridge board 10. Wall plate 11. Hip board etc. 